Hey, what's up guys? Rob Balasavis here. Thanks for clicking that thumbnail. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three different tools that you can use to record your screen, like here, and also your face, this right here, at the same time. For each of the segments where I'm sharing the three different tools, I'll actually use that exact tool to record that segment. So you can see how it works, how it looks, how it sounds, all the different features. And also each of these tools will go from free to a little bit of a cost to a little bit more cost, depending on your budget. You can also see the differences. Now, if you wanna check out any of these tools, you can click the links down in the description. It's not gonna cost you any extra, but they are affiliate links, so it will go towards supporting this channel. So that's it for the introduction. Of course, I would love it if you subscribed, click that notification bell, like this video, and also said hello in the comments. And of course, questions are always welcomed. I love questions. And let's get started with the first tool, which is Vidyard. All right, so welcome to Vidyard. So you see me here in the bubble in the top center of the screen. I can move this around actually. I can move this around really easily. So you can see here, I can move myself to the right corner if I like. I can move myself around to the bottom corner if I like, you know, so you get the idea. I can move myself around depending on what I want to show on the screen. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of intuitive in that sense. Very easy to move around. And then of course I can scroll on my screen. There you go. Now Vidyard is a Chrome plugin. So actually go to Vidyard's website. Again, link is in the description. Go check them out. You can install this on your Chrome browser and it's free. The nice thing about it is that you can show your webcam or your external camera, which is what I'm using right now. I'm using my Canon M50 DSLR. And then also with Vidyard, I have the ability to draw on the screen. So da -da 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 -da, right? I can say, hey, by the way, go check out. This is the button that I want you to click right there. See, you can do those things. It's very, very cool. I can also make the actual marker a little thicker if I like. So I see here, can make it a little bit thicker and I get a thicker sort of marker, right? Go check out this button right here. I can change the color if I like. So if I like red instead, hey, there you go, right? So there you go, pointing at that. Make sure you guys read screen recording and video creations. There's a lot of other really cool functionalities inside of the Vidyard tool. They've got a bit of a teleprompter that you can use, so many cool things. You can also download the videos that you have recorded on Vidyard so that you can use it for your YouTube videos, for your online courses, for different things. As it is, it's actually really, really convenient to share your videos that you record on Vidyard because what it does is it actually records it and they host it on their servers and they give you a link that you can then share with your friends. So I'll put a link down below in the description for an example of what it would look like to receive a Vidyard video message. When you go there, you'll see that there's even a place to put a call to action on that website. So I'll share that with you. Click the link in the description. You'll see an example of what that looks like. I encourage you to create a free Vidyard account so you can check out how it works. Again, it's totally free. So go check that out. Now let's go to tool number two, which is Ecamm Live. By the way, if you guys are wondering, what are those patches on the wall? We're just getting our condo painted. So there's some patches there. The painter is going to come back tomorrow. Probably in the next video, it'll be all covered up in nice fresh coat of paint. <laughs> all right, tool number two is Ecamm Live, which you guys can see on the screen here, Ecamm Live. And I'm using Ecamm Live right now to record this segment of the tutorial just to show you how it works, how it looks, how it feels and all that stuff, all right? So here we go. It's very important for me to tell you that Ecamm Live is only for Mac users. So if you're watching this right now, it's all good. I have a tool coming up for you right after Ecamm Live that you can use if you are a PC user. Ecamm Live also, when you compare it with Vidyard, is a little bit different in that it is actually a software that you download and then install onto your MacBook. Also, Ecamm Live is not just a screen recorder, it's actually a very good, very solid live streaming platform. When it comes to recording your screen and your face at the same time using Ecamm Live, it's really cool because they actually have a lot of different options for the camera view. So right now I'm in this sort of tall Instagram view right here in this layout, I can change that. So check this out. Now I'm here down below in a little circle. Now I'm here as a little square. 
or a little bit of a rectangle. And the cool thing is I can actually move this around as well. So depending on what you have on the screen, what you have in your presentation or your talk or in the video that you want to share or in the website that you're showing on the screen, then you can move yourself around just like this. I know it's kind of dizzy. So let me go back to this view. I kind of like this tall view. It's kind of cool. It looks like I'm looking at the website, although I'm not, although I am, although I'm not really like I'm actually looking at it on my screen, but it looks like I'm looking at it with you on the screen. Anyways, let's go and talk about pricing for Ecamm Live. All right. So you'll see here that they do have a free trial, which is great to let you test out Ecamm Live. You can even try a live stream using Ecamm Live. Now there's also a paid version. There's two of them. One is standard for $12 a month and the other one is $20 a month. The main difference between the standard and the pro plan, in my opinion, is the virtual cam on the pro plan, which is a really awesome tool if you are going live or recording content with an external camera like I am with my Canon M50. The other benefit is 4K streaming, which is really cool. Now, if 4K streaming is not your thing, it's not necessary for you, then maybe it's not something that would be worth it for you to go in the pro plan, but it's something that you may want to consider down the road. Either way, the standard plan is a very solid plan for $12 a month. At the time of this recording, it's an awesome, awesome deal. So now let's go check out Camtasia. All right, so welcome to Camtasia. So I'm using Camtasia right now to record. This is the Camtasia website. Now, Camtasia is available on both PC and Mac. So whatever machine you're using, you can definitely use Camtasia. It is also something that you download. It's not a cloud-based tool. Something you download, install into your machine, and use from there. Camtasia is a full-on editing tool. So it's much more powerful when it comes to editing if you compared it to Vidyard or Ecamm Live. So think Final Cut Pro and those sorts of tools that's where Camtasia plays in now this is also translated when it comes to the price of Camtasia Vidyard is free Ecamm is a little bit of a cost you know $12 or $20 a month but Camtasia is much much more expensive but it is definitely worth the purchase if you're very serious about the kind of videos that you're creating at a professional level recording your screen editing and all those things so it takes care of so much more than just screen recording so right now I'm Canadian so this is $331 Canadian for one license and this is a one-time fee comes with a single license that you can install on two machines and again like I said it's compatible with Windows and Mac. Now, if you're in the education space, then there's a bit of a discount for Camtasia. Same thing with government or nonprofit groups. So now let's actually jump into Camtasia and I'll show you what it looks like to actually edit a piece of Camtasia video. All right, so this is Camtasia and you'll see the recording that I just made on the top left here in the library. And I can drag that into the timeline as so. And the cool thing about that is that it actually separates the screen recording from my face slash webcam recording. You can see right there. So this is the screen recording right there. And then also my face recording is in a separate timeline. Now I can stretch out and make this fill the screen so that it fills out the entire frame and then move it around. Like I said, Camtasia is a full on editing tool. Now I can also go into my webcam recording and make that a little bit bigger if I like and actually move that around in the screen and put it where Ever I want to put it. So now let me just put that on the bottom right where I always put myself usually. Now you can then split these clips as you like, just like you would in any editing software. You can save it from here. You can export it, upload it directly to YouTube if you like. Now this is actually what I use personally for all of my editing for my YouTube channel. So again, I love this tool so much. It makes it so much easier for me. There's a bunch of other things that you can do inside of Camtasia, but in this tutorial, I want to focus on the screen recording aspect of it. All right. So there you have it. Those are the three tools that I use to record my screen, which you see right there and also my face at the same time. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, make sure to check out these tools. There are free trials. Vidyard is totally free. So go check them out. Links are in the description. Would love for you to use that link. Much appreciated. So make sure you leave comments down below with your questions and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.